Okay, so now let's talk about how R combines with other vowel sounds. Let's work with our basic sound, er. Er. And we'll combine it with other vowel sounds. Here are some examples. Ear, air, or, are. Here are the phonetic transcriptions. Now, in many dictionaries and textbooks, you may see it written differently. You'll see it like this. Those transcriptions are correct, but I agree with the ones in blue because it's easier to think of R behaving two different ways, like a vowel and like a consonant. We're talking about R as it behaves like a vowel, so let's use these transcriptions. What you're going to do is take the first vowel sound and glide in to the er sound. So your first sound here is i. I is going to glide into er. I, er, 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 er. Get it? The second word is air. The first vowel sound in this word is e. E, er, e, er, er. Air, air, air. And that gliding happens in the next two words as well. Or, are. You actually have two vowel sounds that are gliding and blending into each other to make one vowel sound. These words are one syllable. Ear, air, or, are. So in these words, the vowel sound must fit into one syllable. But what is happening in order to make this vowel sound is that your mouth is taking two different positions. The first position for the first vowel sound and the second position for the second vowel sound. But you need to make it smooth enough so it becomes one sound and fits in one syllable. Again, ear, air, or are. Exercise 4. In this group of words, I want you to concentrate on how your mouth opens for the different vowel sounds. For example, this first word is tear. Your mouth is open just a little. As we go down the list and get to this final word, tar, your mouth should be open much more. Listen and repeat after me. Tear, tear, tour, tar. Let's go on. We'll practice the sound ear. Repeat after me. Deer, beer, cashier, weird, hear. Now we have the sound air. Air, care. And the sound or. Or, more. Door, for. Warm. And the sound r. Car, heart. And finally, the sound ur, as in tour, poor, sure. Now sometimes these words with the ur sound actually come out sounding like or. So some people can say poor. You might also hear poor, which sounds like the number four. And with sure, in very fast and formal speech, you might hear people say sure. Do you hear the difference? Sure. Sure. Exercise 5. Focus on the vowel sounds that are followed by er. Which words sound alike? 
Example. Board sounds like A. More B. Chair C. Start Answer. More. Board. More. Number one. Near sounds like A. Care B. Hear C. Door Answer. Here. Near. Here. 2. Scare sounds like A. Hurt B. Dark C. Air Answer. Air. Scare. Air. 3. Store sounds like A. There B. Bar C. Four. Answer. Four. Store. Four. Four. Pair sounds like A. Hair B. Art C. Beer Answer. Hair. Pair. Hair. Now, unlike the words we just practiced, we also will have words like fire, hour. This is a smaller group of words, but we need to talk about them because they're different. These words have two syllables, fire, hour. We have two vowel sounds and there is a gliding, but there isn't a joining to make one vowel sound. The vowel sounds remain separate. Here, the first sound is I. I. I combines with er. Ier. Ier. Here, the first vowel sound is owl. Owl combines with er. Our. 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 Now, as I said, the vowel sounds remain separate, but we still need to have a smooth gliding, a smooth connection from the first vowel sound into the second. And I'll tell you a little trick. Either you're going to have a Y sound or a W sound to help get that smooth connection. Here, fire, fire. If you listen closely, there is the Y sound that connects the two vowels fire, fire. Down here, the sounds connect with the help of the W sound. Hour, hour. Get it? Let's practice similar words. Exercise 5. In these words, be sure to make the ER sound a separate syllable. Here's group 1. All these words have two syllables. Repeat after me. Fire. Tire. Higher. Liar. This word has three syllables. Repeat after me. Employer. In this last group, the words have two syllables. Repeat after me. Our flower, hour. Note that the first and the last word here sound exactly the same. They're just spelled differently. Let's try one more exercise. Exercise 6. A poor workplace. Listen to the text. In our office we have four kinds of workers. Doers, talkers, watchers, and sleepers. The first kind are the ones who actually work. Sadly, there aren't many doers. The talkers might care about their work, but they talk more than they work. The watchers are the worst. They spend hours in their chairs watching others do the work. The sleepers are too tired to work. 
Why did they hire such workers? I think they should fire poor workers. Of course, I don't want to be a liar. I'm one of the talkers. My suggestion now is to go back to the beginning of this text. Use the pause button on your screen. Listen to one line at a time and repeat after me. Pay particular attention to the words in bold. That's all for now. Be sure to check back because there will be follow-up lessons. We still need to talk about R when it behaves like a consonant and R when it appears in the same word with L. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching and happy studies.